today when the heat and humidity return it's always good to remind ourselves how to keep our kids healthy and safe out there and here today with some important advice is Andrew Moen with UW Health Pediatric Fitness and Andrew in addition to your work at Pediatric Fitness you're a baseball coach for teenage uh, boys so what have you seen out there in the in the heat with these kids yep so I coach a 14 u baseball team and sometimes we play a game have a game off play another game so there's days where we can be out there six seven eight hours in the sun it really takes a toll on them, just the sun, the heat, everything right. kind of wears down over time. So we want to make sure that, let's start off by talking about what you can put on to stay safe. Well, the number one thing is sunscreen. It mm -hmm. may not be the most popular thing to put on <laughs> when you're that yeah. age and young kids, but it's very important. Um, sun protection factor of at least 30, mm -hmm. and then reapply it every so many hours. And sunglasses like you have on sunglasses your... Sunglasses yep, also, right. very important, need to protect your eyes. With UV protection. Yep, ones right. that'll say, most of them have stickers that say UV protection Correct. on them when you're purchasing What them. about clothing? Um, clothes, it's important to wear like loose, lightweight clothes. Okay. Um, it just helps with the evaporation of sweat off of our skin. Okay, and it's also obviously important to stay hydrated, but you brought up a good point here about drinking water. That... Right, it's important to stay hydrated, but one of the key points that people don't realize is you need to drink water even before you feel that thirst. Okay. Um, from your body. Just prepare yourself. Drink water before you're thirsty and especially during certain times of the day um, when you're starting to sweat and things like that. Mm -hmm. The more you sweat, the more you want to drink. Right. And if you stop sweating after you've been sweating a lot, that can be a bad sign. Right. right. You don't want, that's never good. Uh, yeah. Heat exhaustion, heat stroke, things like that. Right. Okay. What about just getting out of the sun, taking some breaks? What What's important about that? Well, if you are outside during like the peak hours, it can be important to just maybe go inside for 10 minutes, find a shade tree, take a little break, just kind of break up your periods of activity outside in the sun. Are there certain times of day that that's more critical than others? Um, the peak times would be like between 10, 11 in the morning and 4 in the afternoon because that's when the sun's rays are most intense and can be the most harmful. And are there, there are spots on our uh, body that, you know, will cool us down if we use an yep. ice pack? Or yep. Rags? If you ever get really over, overheated, mm -hmm. um, the back of the neck, um, kind of on our wrists, our feet, under our armpits, places like that really cool the body down um, more than other pe places. So, so are your team, your team, do they listen to you when you tell them you got to hydrate and do most all this? Most of the time they're pretty good. <laughs> the sunscreen, I think, is the one that they're yeah. most reluctant, reluctant to listen well, to. Well, it, it is tough for young people and they don't think about it that way. And the thing is, it really helps keep your skin looking good too and not only keeping you healthy but uh, you know you can get wrinkly down the road so, absolutely yeah planning for the future <laughs> that's right Andrew Moen UW Health Pediatric Fitness thanks so much good advice good reminders so keep those kids safe out there and we'll have a final check of the forecast to see how much sunshine's in it with Carlos right after this